Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create shagantals for an engagement, taka, roka, anything along those lines, any special event. And this is actually what we created for my sisters and my engagement. So you're going to need flowers, skewers, um, apple skewers in particular because they're a little bit thicker, tack and stick, ribbon, tool, and a tray. And down below I've listed where you can find everything. So for this example, we just took some of my makeup palettes and we just placed them in the middle of the tray. And then you're going to take the tack and stick and you're going to roll it into four different pieces and that's going to go into the corners like this. You're going to take the skewers and the pointy side is going to go into the middle of that tack and stick. You should create a pyramid shape with this, so the four skewers should meet at the top. And you're going to take the fifth tack and stick piece and secure the top by molding it with your fingers. Now you're going to take the flowers, so we just took some flowers from the dollar store, they're fake flowers, and you can decorate the base of the tray. So the point is not to overly complicate it, you can kind of make it look symmetrical and pick colors that go with your theme. So we picked some beautiful pinks and reds just for this tutorial. So this is what it should look like now. Put your tray aside and then roll out your tool on a flat surface. Then what you're going to do is bring your tray back and then measure the tool up by taking it all the way to the top. And you want to make sure that you are able to cover your whole tray and then you're going to cut it. Now you're going to gather all of the tool like this and then you are going to secure this with a ribbon. And as you can see, when you secure it like this, the white tack won't show through because the tool is white as well. Once you've created a tie, you can cut off some of the extra tool at the top. And now you're going to take your more fancy glittery ribbon and create a bow with it. So go ahead and measure out some of the ribbon, cut it, and then, and then create a bow at the very top. And for this, you can leave the ends longer if you want, or you can cut them down short like how we did. Now just for the finishing touch, you can take another flower. So this is a really nice way to bring more color in and you're going to stick it just right through that ribbon. This is the finished shagantal and here are some of the examples of what we did. So these three were the tals that we did for my engagement. And this is the Meva tal. I had these little containers from Michael's and these were all the tals for my sister's engagement. And this was a little bit more elaborate, but we wanted to give you some more ideas. So here is what we created. So this first tal was one of my favorites. This is a really grand Meva tal containers from Superstore. This is for Rocher and Ledoux. And the next one is a fruit basket and the actual basket you can reuse. It's from Costco and obviously a tal with candies. And lastly was Indian sweets stacked in a pyramid. And I hope you found something useful out of this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment down below letting me know what else you wish to see and how you liked the tals we created. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one.